So you want to be a player, but your wheels ain't fly. You got to hit us up to get a pimped out ride. You've got to pimp my ride. Hello, my sirs, mates, and ladies of there. How's it going? It's Brad Wheel, also known as JimmyJ57. And welcome to the start of Tornado Week. The D-Class Tornado, as of today, has now been added to Benny's, which is very, very cool. Um, this is probably one of the first cars that I ever customized for Pimp My Ride long, long, long time ago. It's like episode like 16 or something. Like it was a really long time ago. It is an awesome car and I can only hope that Benny's got some awesome stuff going on for me uh, to pimp this car out with. So let's get started on it. We're gonna max out the armor and brakes first. Now let's see what we got for front bumpers. We got the chrome teeth bumper, we got the chrome bars bumper. Um, for this one, I'm gonna go, I think I like the teeth a little bit better. That looks pretty cool to me. Onto the rear bumper, we got the D-Class wheel bumper, we got the Tornado wheel bumper, or we got the Livery wheel bumper. So, no Livery on it right now, but hopefully that'll have some cool Livery on it later. I'm thinking I'll go with that one. The uh, It matches the logo on the trunk of the car as well. So we're gonna throw that one on there. Down to the exhaust, let's see what we got. We got the, uh, where is this? It's gonna be out the side. Oh yes, it's one of these little mod glitches, so we gotta, Take a look at it. So right there is the triple shotgun, as you can see out the side there, pretty cool. Then we got the uh, twin side pipes, so they go down the side of the car, just under the door. Uh, we got the twin exhaust, which is out the back, I believe. Yes, you just can't see it. It's under the wheel cover there, but you can see the uh, there's some exhaust down underneath there. And then we have the twin shotgun exhaust. So I think I'm I'm down for some cool uh, side side exhaust. We're gonna go triple shotgun on the side. That looks pretty sick to me. Uh, right bumper, we can get fender ornaments. Um, yeah, so you can see the, wait, where did it go? Where, I, oh, sorry, it's in the front. What am I doing? I'm losing my mind. Yes, fender ornaments are right there, just above the lights. Uh, looks cool to me, you know, some more chrome detailing for the car. Onto the hood, we can go classic hood. That looks pretty cool. Has some more uh, chrome detailing, as you can see there. Uh, we can get the triple intake, the single intake, uh, livery underside. Oh, so that's if the hood is open. And then we got the panel two-tone. So. Unfortunately, I can't see that yet, but I will uh, open the hood at the end of the video. I'm, I'm thinking I'll go with the livery one. I, I don't know, this is hard, because I want this, but I also want the inside to be really cool, too. All right, let's see what the livery looks like. I'll go down to um, where we can change the engine. Did I pass it? Or, oh, here it is. Um, okay, so I don't have a livery on yet, so of course that won't apply. Let me just go through a livery on um, something cool. Whoops, can't see that one yet. That one's <laughs> the coolest livery of them all. All right, so I just got some livery inside. You know, I think it's pretty cool. Um, we'll check it out with some of the other liveries, and I might come back to that section in a bit. Anyway, so we're done with the hood. We'll move on to transmission, max that out. Plaques in the back. I'm gonna go with my classic East Side Neon. There we go, represent East Coast. Onto the back trunk here, we got the speaker uh, box shelf, we got the square speaker shelf, or we got the round speaker shelf. Um, for my preference, I do like these square ones, and I do like these round ones. This is hard. Um, I don't know, the... Hmm, the sides for the round speakers, it has those red amps. I don't think that'll be as nice for the color I'm playing for this car, so I'm gonna go with these square speakers. Hydraulics are back to the trunk again. We can go the uh, standard pump, chrome pump. Then we got the quad pumps, the four in a row, two by two, V pattern, and the uh, panel color. So you can see uh, it changes the panel of the trunk there. So I'm guessing, I don't know if that goes with like the secondary color or something, because it says panel color. So not sure how that works, but anyway. We'll find that out later, I think, for all of these. You know, I'll try out the quad pumps and the panel cover, see what it does. Uh, arc covers, we can go on the back here. We got primary color arc covers. We got chrome, chrome detailing arc covers. Uh, we got the full chrome arc covers, livery detailing, or the combo. So I think, I think the combo is pretty cool. This car has really nice chrome detailing all over it. So, you know, just to enhance uh, the feature of that looks pretty awesome, and I do love rear wheel covers, especially when it has the library on it. I think it looks pretty awesome. Onto the tank, you can get a secondary color tank, chrome tank, or the livery tank. I think I'll throw a livery tank on here too, because uh, there's some pretty sweet cars, uh, pretty sweet liveries for this car, sorry. Um, I don't know, Benson has like outdone himself this time. That's, you know, me and Benny go way back. I, I refer to him by his full name. Uh, anyway, so onto liveries. Speaking of all the awesome liveries for this car, we got the classic pinstripe, the coils pinstripe, got the pimp pinstripe, detail pinstripe, now we get into some of the cool stuff. We got the blue retro pinstripe, the decorative glow pinstripe, neo uh, geometric, which is one that I really like. This one's really awesome. We got the girls, of course, got that pinky color. And then the one and only, probably gonna be the most overused 
library for this car and for a reason is the fallen angels one check this out now it has flames going down the side just outlining all the chrome detailing of the car and it has a giant ass angel in the in the front you know i think she's smoking or something like that yeah okay so this one is gonna get used a lot i already know that i've already seen some very cool cars with this and if you use this one and use any sort of red or black or like uh graphite underneath it looks amazing but you know what since you guys are probably gonna see thousands of cars like that, I'm gonna I'm gonna be a little different. I'm gonna go with this green one. This one uh, caught my eye. I really like um, just kind of the electric digital kind of look that it has. It looks really cool to me. So I'm gonna go with that one. Uh, we'll change the color of the car later, of course, to match. It's not gonna be red on green. It's not fucking Christmas here, even though this car is pretty damn cool. So it might as well be. So. Anyway, let's move on to the aerials. We got the classic aerials in the back, spring aerials, or we got the globe aerials. Oh my god, those are new. Globe aerials, holy shit, those are big. I'm gonna go with just the classic ones. Doesn't need to be anything crazy in the back there. Uh, onto the trim. Ooh, I, we can change the chrome detailing? I didn't know that. All right, so, sorry, let's go through this again. I was just looking through it real quick. We got the pink pattern, yellow pattern, red pattern, blue pattern. So, you know, a cool kind of pattern, just a bunch of different colors. Then we got the blue wave, we got the girls, we got Action Dude and The Birds. So now all of those would be really cool, kind of matching different libraries. Unfortunately, there's no uh, good green one to go with the library I chose, but that's all right. We're, we're gonna pass on the trim. I do like the chrome detailing. Now onto the engine, we're gonna max it out. Engine block, uh, let's see what we can get here. So we can get the Tornado engine cover, which is actually unique, I guess, to the Tornado, which is really cool. Then of course we can get our ribbed chrome covers, chrome ribbed and the painted uh, covers with the livery on it. So I think I'm gonna try out the new Tornado ones. As you can see, it has the livery on those as well. So very cool. Uh, air filters, um, oh, what's this? Okay, so we got the front air filter. We got a chrome air filter on top, twin air filters or the vertical ramp pipes. Now, I think I actually like it just with the stock one, the uh, circular air filter up there. That looks cool to me. Onto the interior, another awesome part of doing uh, low riders. So let's go check them out. I think it's just the standard stuff for this one. It's all the uh, the fur, the skin, the camos, and then you can get the striped versions of them. Now, someone requested the other day that I try out a camo one, so I'm gonna be trying a digital leather striped digital camo today. You know, we'll, we'll see how it does for this car ornaments. I'm gonna throw my classic Grim Reaper on the front. Where is he, where is he? Did I, oh my God, did they add more? They must have, because it is way far down. You know what? I'm going to choose one of these other cool ones. I'm going to go with, uh... I'm going to go with... I don't know. Some of these are definitely new. There wasn't these ones before. I'm going to go with this zombie. We're going to put the zombie on here. We're going to put the, uh... The black mummy. Sorry, it's not a zombie. It's a mummy, but it looks pretty much like a zombie. Anyway. So, onto the dials. we got Plain Jane. Flames. Old school. All the usual stuff. I'm going to go with old school. Skull. That looks good to me. The steering wheel. Um... I don't know, lots of chrome detailing on this car. I'm gonna go with lots of chrome steering wheel. Maybe a little bit of color on it. Uh, let's see, something like this. Something like this is pretty cool. Got the chrome ring around it. Got the uh, four spokes in the middle. Looks good to me. Get our grenade lever on there and onto the dashboard. Now, you can put the patterns on the dashboard as well, which actually looks kind of crazy. A little too much, I think. Uh, all the same patterns, the birds. The birds would probably be one of the cooler ones or action dude, but that looks a little too insane. I'm just gonna leave the wood the way it is onto the light color we can change the dials for me honestly just white dials are good it doesn't need to be changed uh number plates no I'm, I'm not gonna bother with the number plate stuff it's honestly the plate in the back is completely covered by the real rear wheel cover and the front plate doesn't bother me too much that's not a vanity plate onto the lights we'll get the uh xenon lights we'll get front back and side neon and the color i believe i'll go with some sort of green as you can obviously tell by my library um so let's go with the dark green under there that looks good to me window tint we're gonna go with a light smoke and turbo tuning max out and onto respray and wheels now i'm gonna leave respray till outside because like i mentioned before the mod i'm using right now for uh bennies here uh doesn't like to use pearlescence that well so i'll be doing it outside with my mod menu but we will do the wheels uh, we're gonna go into Benny's bespoke wheels. Love these bespoke wheels. I think for this one I'm gonna go with these uh, These chrome spoked out those look good to me. Uh, we're gonna throw a color on there of I don't know if the greens look good I'll throw a green on if not just a classic black seems good to me um, All right, so dark green racing green sea green not too bright, you know So I got to throw a green on there not too bad. Uh, we're gonna go with white wall tires just standard white walls Not anything crazy like these ones uh, and then the tire smoke, we'll find ourselves again, probably a green. Let's see if we can find a dark green again. There we go. And let's head outside to change up this color. Let's uh, 
and you know the Christmas spree that we're on with the red and green right now. All right, so let's pop open this mod menu. Let's uh, go to vehicles, go to paint menu, and let's just see where the primary and secondary colors are. Okay, so it, it seems to be all just one color. So let's go pick something cool. Let's head over to the greens. Sea green. That's, uh, that's a little interesting. It's more of a blue of a green. Uh, I'm going to try olive green first, and then we're going to go to pearlescence, and I have an idea in mind. So we're going to find ourselves the lime green. I think this looks pretty freaking cool. Now, this is a color that I uh, used recently in an ultimate color guide. I call it Menace, but it's a very awesome color. Very rarely do I use olive green, but olive green with the lime green pearlescent looks awesome. And just check out this car. We'll raise it up, take a look at the livery tank underneath. Now, you can see it under there. Pretty cool. And we'll take one last look at the interior so you can check it out in here. Pretty awesome. Has the olive green now for the interior because that's my secondary color. So it looks pretty cool in here. Matches the grenade even. And that is our customized D-Class Tornado. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys are, are checking out the Tornado. Uh, it just came out today and it'll be out all week. I'm not sure if they're just releasing it this week or if they're taking it off the market next week. I'm not sure how they're uh, doing that, but it is a very cool car. If you have the money to get your hands on one, I definitely recommend it. This is uh, one of my favorite lowriders so far just because it is an awesome car and I did really enjoy customizing it the first time around. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Remember to leave a like, comment, and subscribe down below if you've not already. And as always, sirs, have a good day.